It'll break down eventually. Just gotta keep agitating it. Hello everyone, what is up? H. Matthews here, and welcome back to our playthrough of Firewatch. Now, currently we are on day three of Firewatch. Uh, we had a ranger come out and fix the communications tower. Well, hopefully they fixed the communications tower. Hopefully they didn't just stare at it. Um, and right now we are boarding up a window that was smashed in a previous on a previous day in a previous episode. Um, we found out that it was the the two girls that were down by the lake skinny dipping, uh, and they had the beer around and stuff. Um, so that's where we left off in the game. I hope you are all doing so well today. I know I am feeling super, super great. I had a good cup of coffee in me this morning, and I'm ready to go ahead and play this for you. I'm excited to continue it. So let's just dive right into it here. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> Let's do Burt well, Reynolds. I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Real quick, I just want to make sure. Let me increase the voice volume here. It's a little, little quiet than I'd like. Okay, let's try that. Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um... It's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A well, uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Yes. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Happy. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Perfect. You know, so as we progress through the game, our relationship with Julia, even though it's it's mostly just a radio relationship, you get really connected with with her you get really connected with this person and you learn a lot about each other and but I think that's there's such a blissful mystery about that you don't you don't know what they look like it it's the idea of almost like having a pen pal where you've never physically met them but you learn so much about who they are by their words and in a way that's beautiful as hard as that is, that might be able to describe. 
But anyway, let's go back up here and board up the window. And as you saw, I was trying to, I was just playing with the toilet paper in there because I didn't want to distract you guys from the dialogue. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. It's nice how these boards are like are perfectly cut. Convenient, really. Bong, bong. I got that window all patched Perfect. up. Perfect. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll get oh, it to you. Oh, forget that. I, I'd be constantly constantly roaming around and keep trying to keep my mind occupied. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear Yay. you've really thought this through. Perfect, of course. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Well, well you know, it's not nice really bed. that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay. Oh, jumps right to day nine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Yes. <laughs> I might never leave. leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two oh. young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Oh, jeez. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Jeez. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, it's better to be honest yeah, with something like that. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Yeah. What a beautiful sunset. Oh, day 15. Perfect. I forget that it, it progressively jumps certain days. And then there are certain days that are long, actual days Henry. with missions. And Henry, wake up. I don't want to say missions, but... Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh? Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. That's true. Oh, that's too bad. Another line. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Cheers. They almost want, kind of wants to bring a tear to your eye. It's so hard, you know, so tough. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? 
Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be That's great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. Wow. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and yes. told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, all the notes and documents so we can go back and look through. Pretty cool. Sorry, I just think this is such a beautiful scene. I really just love that image. Really beautiful. And I didn't want to accidentally skip through the dialogue too quickly. I, I, I love letting you guys be able to listen to all of the character development and all of the, the relationship growth. It, it, it's really incredible, really. I know I say that in every single video, but it really is. Hey, it, I'm it really out of the ravine. Great. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes. Holy moly! I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the Greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. <laughs> no dice. Man. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, so I gotta keep... Oh, my bad, I passed it. Yep, there it is. And then it should be the same... 
One, two, three, four. Perfect. Mouse P. Two forks. Spruce were two forks. Beautiful. Close supply cache. You know, ooh, can we? Oh, we can take the other supplies. Ooh, that's dirty crap. Ooh, I've actually never done that, never thought about doing that. I don't want, you know, that's rude. I shouldn't do that. That's rude. But the beef jerky. All right. I got everything I need Let's out of here. Day here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Yes. Just mine. Oh, wow. Day 64. Nice jump. Almost, yeah, about a month. A little over a month. Wow. Whoa. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just or something practical or... I want to say that screenshot. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. <laughs> okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? What? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Ooh. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. That does sound nice. I my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. Her. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. And it's pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could um you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. <sighs> two, two distant people You're in the summertime. Fishing. They are. They're pretty. I, I, they're lost in time. In a way. You know, they're out here. 
just protecting the wilderness, protecting the forest, with no other responsibilities but that. And then they get to know each other, they both come from damaged pasts, they share things in common. It's beautiful. And I really hope you guys can see that. It's really incredible. Without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Sure. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Sure. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up the keep that. So I forgot to confiscate some of these items, but it's okay. Luckily, no one grabbed them. I don't know how that bottle of whiskey would would taste being out in the sun like that for over a month. But who knows? I mean, it can't taste good. But, hey, clipboard. Oh. What's it? Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Um. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? What in the world? That's pretty messed up. Having a stalker. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let <laughs> Oh, what in the world? Henry? It's been a while since there? I've actually played this, so I'm what happened, starting Henry? to slowly remember I, what's happening. I just, I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch oh, you. Yep, yeah, pretty meadow. I mean, God, I. This just. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So. What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. 
That's messed up. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. That's pretty wicked. Like, that's messed right up. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. What went down at YPD? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably... Okay, why? Wish you would have been there. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. I mean, I I I remember what hap what happens. I, I don't want to. I'm not gonna spoil it for any of you um, because that's just not fair. Hey, turtle! <gasps> I love turtles. I actually have two aquatic turtles here at my place. Here, I I really love turtles. I'm gonna adopt it. Beautiful. I love turtles. Oh, beautiful. Just, ugh. Actually, are there more? Got the whole family of them. Maybe. Beautiful. Just listening to the atmosphere. Watching the pollen fall. Watching the seasons go by. But anyway, no, it's... Having a stalker like that is... is that's got to be just terrifying. Especially out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Alright, let's see. I think I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I gotta go. Yeah, I'm going this way. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly what happens. It's It's been a while, but I'm, I am vaguely, vaguely remember it. Once I keep playing this, it'll, it'll all jog back to me. Then I don't want to spoil anything that I already know, so I'm just going to kind of keep my lips shut when it comes to that and give you guys a nice, fresh experience. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's the station that we found earlier. I didn't, I didn't mention it or talk about it, but we found this earlier. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. Wait, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want to know. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> yeah, I've tried to get in here before. No dice. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They work by the few days, but they should let you hike right to them. Perfect. Well, that's great. If you haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. And the gate is locked up. It'll break down eventually. Just gotta keep agitating it. Okay. Alright, so... What's she saying? I was not paying attention. Oh, gee, it's brace. That's a long ways away. All right, 
right, so we've got to go back all the way back to the lookout. Wow. All right. That's, I can't access that shortcut until I get the fire axe, which is what we'll find at the scout camp to get through the gate. I think I'm fair. If I remember correctly, that's what it is. Like I said in a, in a previous video, as the game progresses, we will unlock tools that allow us to advance further into certain areas. Right, yes, take the shortcut. We take the shortcut back. Yeah, this will work beautifully. Here we go again. Hop de hop, hop de hop. Hop. Yeah, if I knew I was going to jump so much, I would have taken a career as a rabbit. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Hmm. Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom, exactly? I don't know, obviously. Someone who is telling folks I've worked with for years to, to lie? Big Brother is not casting a shadow on the Shoshone, Henry. Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hello? Oh! Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. Listening in on our frequency? Maybe intercepting our frequency yeah. with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Jeez. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? Ned? Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched yeah, from the shadows, still... you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Not necessarily. Ryan is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right.
we already got that, that supply cache. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be oh. a pond on the way. Got it. Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece of property here. Oh my goodness. Just imagine putting a beautiful campsite here and... Yeah, just beautiful. Hey, a correct snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Hmm. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. That's fair. I mean, in situations like this, the job has to be stressful. There's no doubt about that. Alright, let's go this way. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't think so. No. Alright. It was probably that way. I probably just missed it. Alright, so let's go back this way. Oh, perfect. into an old scout camp. Gonna look around here first. The okay. place is destroyed. All right, um, that's the operating area of the hotshot crew who are doing the controlled burn. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure okay. thing. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need mm. someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? <laughs> horned toads. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And... A Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on oh, it is just, there it is. what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. 
At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Okay. Actually, I wonder... I know that I probably can't do anything with that totem pole. I mean, it's probably not a good idea to cut it down anyway. But I'm just curious to see if there's... Oh. Let me grab that collectible. Yeah, the same missing person's poster. Right, yep, the bridge is collapsed. Just curious. So I know we can cut this down. Let's go back this way. Right, I assume the goal. Yep, yeah, turn to YPD, YPD Meadow. Perfect. Yeah, that's a long way from here, though. I mean, it feels like it's a long way, but I, I guess really it's not. Jump down. I'm assuming that we have there. to... I, I had a thought. Okay. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Hmm. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Jeez. Jeez. That's... Are the ball starting to roll, thing, you know, a little bit more of the cons conspiracy starting to uncover here. Thoroughfare Tower, for sure. this is Two Forks calling you it's for the oh, interesting. 50th thing, time Things today. are starting to, you know, come into motion. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going cra crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Right, yeah. 
Okay, it's right uh, there, yeah. Ooh, and there's some uh, other all right. maps, atlases, Just, that sort of thing. You know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay. Alrighty, perfect. Let's see. Yeah, I know it's right there. I'm just just kind of thinking a minute. Okay, oh, yeah, sorry. it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Yeah, the cottonwood. Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Sus. Suspicious. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. Okay. Alrighty. Perfect. Alrighty. Go ahead and save the game. Alrighty, everyone. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that's happened in here today. More things happened. So we went to Weppity Station. We got knocked, well, before then we got knocked out. We found the little turtle. Actually, you know what? Where is that little turtle? Before I end the video here. There he is. Huh. Look at that. Let's see. You look like a... Turt Reynolds. I love that name. Beautiful. Alright, awesome. Adopt. Wait. Wait. What? I meant to put him back in the box. Okay, well, he's going to stay with me now. Turt Reynolds is going to stay with me. But anyway, like I said, go ahead and save the game. Hope you, I hope you all enjoyed what happened in this video. Let me do another recap here a second. So we were on our way to YPD Station. Went through a few days before then. It jumped. Time jumped a few days. Enjoyed a beautiful sunset. Found Turt Reynolds there. We... Found the fire axe, went went to the the scout camp. And now we are kind of currently investigating a little conspiracy about our possibly tapped radios. Um, and then everything that's going on at YPD Station. What you know we're, we're gonna we will we'll eventually figure out exactly everything that's going on there. And and uncover all of the things that have been set in motion here. I hope you guys are really enjoying what's going on. Like I said in a, f a few other videos, I love this game. It means a lot to me. And there's a lot of little details that I kind of... They, they leave your memory, and now that I'm playing, everything's kind of, you know, really nicely rushing back in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I am extremely excited to keep playing this for you. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please subscribe so that way you never miss a beat on this series and my future series as well on other projects. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Continue to have a great day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.